The FAA now looking into what went wrong with JetBlue Flight 262 and if all of the safety procedures were followed. All right, Lonnie, thank you. And landings like the one yesterday really don't happen all that often, even though a lot of flyers will probably tell you they've experienced something similar during their travels. Alyssa Harrington has some tips on how to prepare for those bumpy landings. I really should point out here because there's been a lot of talk about Elon you swinging that golf right. club and I heard earlier in some other reports that when he crashed his SUV he was trapped and she used it to break the window to try to free him. And only one thing to say tonight, watch out for the Latinas in our community because they are strategizing to become even more influential leaders in our community. Both schools of course you saw some of the video there pumped up for tonight's game earlier today they held some spirited rallies. First of all we want to check out the rally over at Folsom High. Well, maybe you've lost or gained weight or maybe things Don't go look out at of me style. When you say I'm that. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking of myself here. So, do you have an old suit or slacks in your closet that you barely wear? You know, giving those things away could help a neighbor find a job. It's actually a good idea here. <laughs> Alyssa Harrington has more on the first capital suit drive and how you can help. We're continuing to follow that breaking news now. You're looking at several homes on fire in the Bay Area after a massive gas explosion that blast sent a fireball more than a thousand feet into the air and there are reports of at least three people dead several seriously burned all of this happening in the rolling wood area near san bruno just west of the san francisco international airport and imagine the amount of gas that must be pouring out of that two to three foot wide uh, pipe to create such a huge ball of flame in such intensity out there there you see it again all right and christian pebbles with sac metro fire joining us in studio tonight You've seen the pictures, you've heard the reports. Uh, give me a, an assessment of the situation from a firefighter's perspective right now. Again, to recap, at this point, three people confirmed dead in the fire area, at least two people critically burned, and the numbers continue to trickle into the Fox 40 newsroom. We will stay on top of that. And good evening, everybody. I'm Jaime Garza, live this afternoon in San Bruno. We have set up at the staging area. This is where we get the very latest information to bring to you. Take a look at the scene here very quickly here. There you can see a herd of reporters and photographers from across the state, across the nation, uh, covering this disaster. A briefing wrapped up just a few minutes ago. And this is what we're being told at this hour, that crews have been spending the day dousing hot spots from that enormous fire after a P&G&E gas line erupted last night. It left behind a 30-foot wide crater. And good evening, everybody. I'm Jaime Garza, live at Sacramento International Airport this afternoon. And there in the distance, you can see the airplane that those passengers were on board. 15 of them were injured, five seriously enough that they had to be taken to the hospital to be checked out. That is JetBlue Flight 262. It was arriving here from Long Beach just before 1 o'clock this afternoon when it made a very hard landing and then came to a sudden stop. That's when passengers say the flight crew began to yell, get out, get out. We want to go live now to Mark Dembski over at Terminal B with a play-by-play -play of what happened out here. Mark? This is an aerial view of SAC International, and over here are the terminals, but if you head due west, you're going to run into runway 16 right. This is the runway that JetBlue Flight 262 used this afternoon, and it remains closed right now to air traffic while this incident is investigated and necessary repairs are made to the airplane. However, this is not interrupting operations. As we fly to the other side of the airport, you can see there is another runway right here, and this is the one that planes have been been using all afternoon to take off and to land, so flights have not been impacted. The JetBlue airplane is an Airbus A320, and as you can see from this diagram, it has six emergency slides. Now, only the front two, these two here, and this one back here, were deployed. The slides over the wings were not used because of the fire that broke out underneath. Now, passengers are saying that these inflatable slides are extremely slick, of course, for quick exit, but they're not easy on the body. Rowena Shaddix has been looking into that, and she has more on the passenger injuries. You like Chris Isaac. I love Tony Bennett, man. He's the man. <laughs> has to be a show. He's the man. Oh, Jim and Christina. <laughs> That's right. Jim and Christina tag teaming tonight out in the patio. 3D glasses as well. Christina. Hold on, hold on, Donna. Oh, you do have the glasses. Look what there I found. Go. The 3D and they glasses. Work. <laughs> they, they, they make the fireworks just look even better. It makes, so. the, it makes Christina look pretty good, too. <laughs> yeah, not you, Jaime. And it's a story that had me doing this. A lot Shaking of Shaking my head. I'm like, what's I up know. with that? But Amanda Auburn has a good size collection. Yeah, and time just goes by so quickly. Tomorrow marks one year mm -hmm. since JC was found alive, and now everybody wants to know how she's doing. Lonnie Wong takes a look at what's in store for her future and the lessons learned from her kidnapping.